Well, Heinz is wondering whether the world has room for one more condiment in their hearts. What the world doesn't need now. Well, we'll see. Anyway, first, uh, Sears is going to bid farewell to its last store in the city that helped launch its growth into a major retail presence. Consumer expert Amy Davis. Kind of sad. It is kind of sad. I mean, you know, we just had sort of an iconic Sears store Dead. close here um, a couple of weeks ago, months ago, maybe. But this one everybody's talking about because even though it's closed hundreds of stores since the start of 2017, they will wipe it, their prints off of Chicago forever oh, wow. when they close its last store there this summer. So Chicago has been Sears headquarters since 1887, wow. home of the famous Sears Tower. That's why they put it there. But the nostalgia wasn't enough to save stores in the Windy City either because the last Sears store in Chicago will go out of business in mid-July. The liquidation sale begins this month. Well, you know how you mix your mayonnaise and your ketchup together on your burger? I do. You do? Oh, and does Jennifer saying eh. No way. Well, hi, no way. Heinz wants to make it easier for you, Owen. Okay. It's asking customers if they want mayo chup. Oh, I'm sorry, what? That just does mayo not chup. Sound. Okay. No, thank yeah, you. it's a bottled blend of mayonnaise and ketchup and perhaps a bad name for it, right? Yeah, because the condiment company posted the idea on Twitter and said if it gets half a million likes or votes for yes, it will give the people what they want. <laughs> Ricky Babalu tweeted, Mayo chup? It sounds like what you get after. It sounds like what you throw up after eating bad mayonnaise. <laughs> oh man, that's that's a great. A few other people yeah. suggested some other things that they could, you know, like maybe if it was like ketchup or something better. Okay, I'll hey. Just squeeze one of each and mix them in. You could do that too. Hey, we didn't forget that today is Freebie Friday, and the weather sounds like it'll be perfect to get outside for the Japan Festival at Herman Park's Japanese Garden tomorrow and Sunday. Mm. You can take the whole family to see Japanese music and dance, martial arts, and of course some great food. And the Art Car Parade rolls through downtown Houston Saturday at 2 p.m. We're going to post the parade route for you on clicktohouston.com so you can pick your seat and watch the 25th annual Art Car Parade. That's always a lot of fun. Or stop by the market at Sawyer Yard for second Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday. You can browse folk art, watch artists in their element at open silos when artists mm. open their studios to the public. Uh, how cool is that? Hey, so I was just talking to Rachel about yes. this in the commercial break. Shoppers love discounts and finding bargains. And now Macy's is getting getting into the game, opening its first off-price discount store in our area tomorrow. So I got a sneak peek at Macy's Backstage to show you what it's all about, how it's different from a regular Macy's store, and how the deals compare to other discount chains we already have, like Marshall's and TJ Maxx. We're going to take you inside the store coming up in about an hour. I'm very, very curious. I know you went to a deep dive for this story for me. Yeah, the, <laughs> the grand opening is tomorrow in okay. Pearland, so there'll be a lot of, you know, Freebies and for the first people in line. We'll talk about that too. I'm going to wait for your assessment. All right. Thank Thanks. you much.